In this video, we're going to explore how to calculate the pH of a weak acid. So as a reminder, a weak acid, which we'll represent here as HA, is going to ionize in water to form an equilibrium with its conjugate base and hydronium ions. Typically, this will be a less than 50% reaction, so very, very small reaction. And in order to solve this, we're going to need to use an ice table and the acid equilibrium uh, expression. So our conjugate base times hydronium over the acid. In our first example, we're going to look at the pH of 0 0.100 mole per liter acetic acid. With any weak acid question, our first step is going to be to write the ionization equation for the acid. So for acetic acid, CH3COOH will react with water. This will form equilibrium to form acetate and hydronium. So in acetic acid, this hydrogen on the end of the carboxylate group is our acidic hydrogen. So we can write ICE down the side. In an ice table, we are going to assume that the initial concentration of our conjugate base and hydronium is zero. So we have zero uh, acetate and zero hydronium, and we have 0 0.100 moles per liter acetic acid. Because we have water in our ice table, uh, we can just ignore this entire column. So we won't use any of the data or any information on water because its concentration won't change. Um, we don't know anything else in the question, so we're going to represent all the rest of the information in our ice table with the letter X. So acetic acid will lose X moles per liter, acetate and hydronium will all gain X. Uh, we have coefficients of 1 in front of all of our species, so we will have a magnitude of just X for all of our changes. That gives us an equilibrium concentration for acetic acid of 0 0.100 minus X and for acetate uh, and hydronium will be X. So in order to find pH, we need to solve for hydronium. And so we're going to be solving for X. Our next step is going to be to write the Ka expression. So, so this is going to be our acetate times our hydronium. divided by acetic acid. We can look up the Ka for acetic acid in our table on pages 8 and 9, and we find that it is 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5. And then we can fill in the rest of our information. So we're going to have x and x on the top, and then 0 0.1 minus x on the bottom. This can be simplified, x times x as x squared. Um, what we'll notice here is that this is going to require a quadratic to solve, which we don't want to do. So instead, we are going to look at uh, an approximation we can often make with acid-base problems to simplify this math. We are going to take the initial concentration of our acid, so we're going to take the initial concentration of acetic acid divided by its Ka. So this is going to be 0 0.100 divided by 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5. If this ratio is greater than 1,000, the change in concentration is negligible. So this value is greater than 1,000. 
And so that means that we can take 0.1 minus x and we can replace it with 0.100. So all we're basically saying here is that 0.100 minus x is approximately equal to 0.1. So the percent ionization is so low that the value of x won't significantly change our concentration of our acid. The reason that we want to do that is it's going to make solving the rest of this problem much easier. So we can rewrite this equation now with this approximation. So we can solve for x. So it's going to be the square root of our Ka value, which is 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5 times our initial acid concentration, which is 0 0.100 moles per liter. So x in this case is going to equal 1.34 times 10 to the negative 3. This is our hydronium ion concentration. We can use this to calculate pH. So the pH is going to equal the negative log of our hydronium ion concentration. So it's going to equal the negative log of 1.34 times 10 to the negative 3 moles per liter. And we get 2.872. Now as a reminder about significant digits with pH, our initial concentration has three significant digits. So our pH needs to have three significant digits. The number in front of the decimal is not considered significant in pH. Our next example is what is the percent, uh, pH and percent ionization of 0 0.250 moles per liter ammonium nitrate? So our first step again is going to write our ionization um, expression. Ammonium nitrate is an ionic compound with the formula NH4NO3. This will dissociate in water to form ammonium and nitrate. Nitrate is a spectator ion. It's not going to be involved in any sort of reactions. And so ammonium is what will ionize in water to produce an acid or to produce hydronium. So our ionization expression is ammonium plus water in equilibrium. Ammonium will donate a hydrogen to form ammonia, its conjugate base and water will accept a hydrogen to form hydronium, its conjugate acid. So we can write ice down the side. So our initial concentration here is 0 0.250 moles per liter. Our change in concentration will be x, so minus x here and plus x for these two. So our equilibrium concentrations will be 0 0.25 minus x for ammonium, x for ammonia, and x for hydronium. We can now write our KEQ expression, or sorry, our KA expression. So KA will equal our conjugate base, which is ammonia, times hydronium, all over our acid, which is ammonium. The Ka of ammonium is 5.6 times 10 to the negative 10. So it has a very low Ka because it's a very weak acid. This is going to give us x squared over 0 0.250 minus x. We can once again check our approximation. Can we get rid of this x to simplify our math? So we're going to do 0 0.250 divided by... 5.6 times 10 to the negative 10. This gives us a number much, much greater than 1,000. So we can state that 0 0.250 minus x 
is approximately equal to 0 0.250 and the change is negligible. This will allow us to simplify our Ka expression so that we have 5.6 times 10 to the negative 10 equals x squared over 0 0.250. And when we solve for x, we're really solving for our hydronium ion concentration. And this is going to equal the square root of the Ka value, which is 5.6 times 10 to the negative 10, times the initial concentration of the acid. And this shortcut will be true for nearly every single acid-base question that we do. So our hydronium ion concentration is going to equal our Ka value times the initial concentration of our acid. Okay, so we can solve for x now. And we get a hydronium ion concentration of 1.18 times 10 to the negative 5. We can use this now to calculate the pH of our solution. So pH is the negative log of the hydronium ion concentration. So negative log of 1.18 times 10 to the negative 5 moles per liter. And our pH is 4.927. So again, we have three significant digits in our uh, acid concentration, so we're going to have three significant digits in our pH. That 0.927 are the significant digits. We can also use this concentration to calculate the percent ionization of our acid. So 100% ionization would mean that we would have a hydronium ion concentration of 0 0.250 moles per liter. So if all of the ammonium ionized, it, this change, this x value would be negative 0.25 here and positive 0.25 here. So our equilibrium concentration of hydronium would be 0.25. So in order to determine the percent ionization, this is the same as percent reaction. So we're going to take our actual concentration, 1.18 times 10 to the negative 5 moles per liter, and divide it by our maximum concentration, which is 0 0.250 moles per liter, Multiply that by 100%. And we get a percent ionization of 0.00473. So this very, very low percent ionization makes sense. We have a very, very small Ka value. It also means that we were correct in using this assumption.